Today, I'll show you how to activate personal hotspot on your iPhone, dive into related family sharing settings, and reveal the two key factors that will affect your hotspot's performance and availability. Hi, I'm Dellen. Welcome to my channel, Dellen Loves Tech, where I review consumer electronics and accessories. Now, let's get to it. To activate the personal hotspot on your iPhone, go to Settings, select Cellular, and turn on Cellular Data if it is off. Next, select Personal Hotspot. You should see Allow Others to Join. Toggle it on. Below that is the password. To change the password, click on the password. Then enter a new password. And that is how you would enable personal hotspot. If you have family sharing enabled on your account, on the same screen for personal hotspot, you will see the family sharing option. Selecting this, you'll see the option to toggle family sharing on and off. Below that, you will see the members of your family listed. By default, they are set to ask for approval. Selecting a member, you'll see the option to change it to automatic. With ask for approval enabled, each time the person tries to connect to your hotspot, a prompt will be displayed on your device with the options to don't allow or allow the person to use your hotspot. If allowed, a notification will be displayed and the person will then be connected. If not allowed, the person will receive a message that the request was declined. On automatic, a prompt will not be displayed on your device. You will only see the hotspot notification displayed when the connection is established. Now that we've covered activation and family sharing settings, let's discuss the two key factors that will affect your hotspot performance and availability. First, your personal hotspot availability and the number of devices that can be connected to it at one time is dependent on your cell phone provider and the current plan that you may have. And the second factor is the model of the devices. Newer iPhones with 5G modem and better Wi-Fi chips will provide faster speeds and better performance than earlier models with less capable chipsets. Now, if your device is on the current version of iOS and you do not see the options mentioned above, you may need to contact your service provider for assistance. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions thanks for watching see you in the next one